For this week's discussion, we're heading to Atlanta, Georgia during the days of the Civil War. Here in the Old South, we're going to meet a young woman at the Wilkinses' plantation of one of the greatest movies of our time, and it is David O. Selznick's greatest classic, Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind is the classic love story about a young woman named Scarlett O'Hara, who is madly in love with Ashley Wilkes. After she finds out that he is going to marry his cousin, Melanie Hamilton, Scarlett finds herself the target of an affection of a Charleston man named Rhett Butler, but instead marries Melanie's brother, Charles. At this point, the men leave to fight in the Civil War, leaving Scarlett and Melanie to take care of themselves at home, forcing Scarlett to manipulate her suitors to keep the family plantation alive. The film stars an incredible cast with Clark Gable playing Rhett, Vivian Lee as Scarlett, Leslie Howard as Ashley, Olivia de Havilland as Melanie, and Hattie McDaniel as Scarlett's maid, Mammy. Production troubles almost kept the film from being made, as Selznick had to get the copyrights to make it, which took several years and $50,000 to secure. Director George Cougar, known for his Oscar-winning film My Fair Lady, was attached to direct early on, but was fired after three weeks of shooting and replacing with Victor Fleming, who was filming The Wizard of Oz at that same time. The role of Scarlet was almost given to Paulette Goddard, but her troubled marriage to Charlie Chaplin worried Selznick, so he gave the part to the unknown Lee instead. The film was nominated for 13 Academy Awards and won eight of them, a record for that time, including Best Actress, Best Director, and Best Picture of the Year. The last of which was the first time a color film won Best Picture. Today, Gone with the Wind is considered one of the greatest films of all time. 1939 also sold the release of classics, such as Stagecoach, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, Of Mice and Men, and The Wizard of Oz.